Hi, I'm Deli Denton. Today I'm adding line art to another squeegee painting. This one I originally used ocean colors, but they kind of turned muddy when I squeegeed them. So when it dried, I tried again with some warm colors. And I really liked how it turned out. It kind of reminded me of a tower with multiple outer walls and a spiraling staircase. So I thought I'd write a little lore about this place. As a nod to my original intentions with this painting, I'm going to say that this tower was built on an island. In fact, at the top there was a massive lighthouse lantern, but that bit has since crumbled into the sea. Tales tell of a place of magic and art. They lived off the sea in part, but they also traded beautiful pearl jewelry, paintings, music, and other objects of art. Most of their artworks had just a little magic infused into them, usually for aesthetic purposes, but there were rumors that it enhanced the influence the art had over people. Songs that stirred the hardest heart, paintings that seemed to captivate even animals. Rumors, of course. Although they did not keep armies, they had warriors. For the most part, their island was safe. The few times people thought to attack, all they had to do was turn off the lighthouse and shelter in their tower. The ocean and a few well-placed illusions took care of the rest. So their warriors mostly just honed their skills into an art form or became mercenaries. There was conflicting rumors that they were soft and that they were highly trained and deadly, so skilled that the act of challenging them was seen as a foolish death sentence. Outwardly, they committed themselves to no war, but they had cunning diplomats. They relied on influence and charm to meddle in international affairs. Sometimes countries would call on them to mediate. Usually the agreements were good for everyone involved, especially the tower. The tower was prosperous and enjoyed peace. But one day, after a particularly hard winter, the tower was found empty. No bodies, no sign of struggle. The tower was looted and studied and then slowly fell into disrepair. The people of the tower soon became a distant memory, although there are artifacts of great beauty that still exist to this day. The general consensus is that either everyone deliberately left to avoid some catastrophe, or there was some sort of powerful magical event that just sent everyone elsewhere. There's some very silly theories that they all grew gills and walked into the sea, but no proof. Now a group of pirates have taken up the ruins as their base. They call themselves the Shadow of the Tower and claim to be the descendants of the people there. The group is led by Captain Gelanai, a mage whose goal it is to reclaim all of the tower's treasures and bring them back to where they came from. Gelanai is an excellent leader, but is ruthless towards her enemies. She's built a small town at the base of the tower, and although it's a struggle, they're doing their best to survive and protect this place. They fight adventurers who come to see if there is anything left to loot, and welcome those who would help them restore the place no matter their background. Gela and I has put little effort into finding out what happened to those who disappeared. She sounds a bit dismissive when Nalise, her second in command and sister, brings her theories. Nalise is very concerned about what happened there because they're living there now, and there's a possibility that if they don't understand what's going on, they'll end up the same way. Her sister's disinterest is frustrating to her, but she keeps working because Gela and I is also disinterested in stopping her. They grew up on the docks together with just their great-grandmother's stories to guide them and dreams of a better life to spur them on. They might bicker between themselves, but neither are inclined to get in each other's way and both are quick to protect the other. I like how this turned out. It would be very neat to explore these ruins and try and figure out what happened. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe to continue on this art journey with me.